The Sultan of Brunei lives a luxurious life that grows $147 per minute. The tiny Asian nation's leader is a one-man show. He's the absolute monarch and supreme leader of the Islamic faith. The Sultan serves as the country's prime minister, finance minister, superintendent of police, foreign affairs and trade minister, defense minister, and even chancellor of the national university. With his personal wealth estimated at $27.7 billion, he's earned a position among the world's wealthiest rulers in a nation of 430,000 people, drawing its wealth from immensely valuable oil assets and exporting oil and natural gas. Welcome to Luxury Zone. Today, we're going to be looking at the vast, immense wealth of Sultan Hassan al bolkiah who has found no end of ways to spend his ever-growing wealth in ways he can show. Make sure you watch to the end to better understand how the other half lives in the most extravagant sense of the phrase. Born Hassan al bolkiah Ibn Omar Ali Saifuddin III, the 29th Sultan of Brunei. He's been the Sultan since its 1984 independence from British rule. The Sultan is a highly educated man from the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the UK. Still, he is mostly known for his outrageous net worth. He is the longest reigning monarch after Queen Elizabeth II and celebrated the Golden Jubilee of his reign in 2017, meaning it had been 50 years. He's not only the most powerful man in the small country of Brunei, but also the richest and had been the richest man in the world until 1980. The last time we knew Hassan el bolkiahs net worth was 2008, per Forbes, which it had been at an astounding RS 1.4 lakh crore, about $20 billion. Just to get an idea of Hassan el's spending, though, the Sultan doesn't think twice when paying for a haircut, at an astounding $21,000 on a haircut to this day. You can only imagine that the Sultan gets around in style, with a net worth worth like that. 7,000 luxury cars and a gold-plated private jet are just the tips of the iceberg. The Boeing 747 aircraft, priced around $400 million, was further accessorized with $120 million in outfitting, including a gold wash basin. A 767 midsize, wide-body twin-engine jet airline is also designed with a deluxe room and a complete interior office. The Airbus 340-200 seated up to 200 116 passengers in its three-class cabin layout and could go around 7,450 nautical miles. It's the only jet with a wingspan measuring greater than the fuselage length. It was initially launched for long, thin routes, especially over water. Reportedly, Bolkia gifted his daughter the Airbus A340 for one of her birthdays to add to the airborne vehicles list. 7,000 luxury cars come in all shapes and sizes, worth around 341 billion RS. Sultan has 600 Rolls Royce and 300 Ferraris in his collection. In the 1990s, the bulkier family accounted for nearly half of the Rolls Royce sold that whole decade. Reportedly, when Hassan el bulkier was younger, he'd race Ferraris late into the night in the capital city. Strictly speaking, the Sultan is not a die-hard car enthusiast. Instead, he's known to have an extensive car collection due to his younger brother, Prince Jeffrey, and his oldest son, Prince Hakim, being inclined to enjoy supercars that they buy like toys and replace regularly. The Sultan himself has many custom-made cars, outfitted to his every need, as money is no object. One of the Rolls Royces was custom-designed by the Sultan, featuring a unique open-roof design to help accommodate an umbrella on top of the car. Naturally, this one was plated in gold from the grills to the tires. As well as specialty cars, the Sultan owns specially concept cars like the Bentley Java and Pinin Faria's Ferrari Mythos, several vehicles are not available on show or display by any other means. The Ferrari FX is one such car, based on F512M. Still, it has an adventurous looking body and button shift semi automatic developed by ProDrive. The Sultan has six such cars, but that's not where the collection ends. He also owns a 542HP twin turbo Rolls Royce, a Bentley incorporating Range Rover's four by four system called Dominator, six replicas of the 1950s Mercedes 300 SL, the last of which is based on today's 500 SL, but as AMG Enhanced 6.0 published in. Every car that the Sultan has designed for him is bulletproof and outfitted with state-of-the-art technology. Of course, with a collection of cars quite impressive as this, the Sultan has made more than enough space for his vehicles across the multitude of properties he owns all across the world. Let's look at where 
where he rests his head without further ado. Known best as Istana Nurul Man, the lavish palace of the Sultan of Brunei is the world's largest residential palace. It covers around 2 million square feet and is the world's largest palace in the Guinness Book of World Records. The dome is studded with 22 karat gold, though the whole palace is opulent enough to consider it worth 2,550 RS crores. It has over 1,788 rooms, 5 swimming pools, 110 garages, and 257 bathrooms. This doesn't even mention the private zoo for visitors or the air-conditioned stables built for more than 200 horses. There is an 800-car garage underground to accommodate the Sultan's cars. The palace is larger than the Vatican, situated on the banks of the Brunei River on a hill overlooking the city. The palace is an unquestionable, glittering symbol of Brunei's enduring monarchy and a shining, opulent example of Brunei's majestic royal heritage. It's closed to the public, except during Hari Raya, when the royal family greets them. It includes a banquet hall on premises that can be expanded to seat something of 5,000 guests and a mosque known to accommodate 1,500 people. Next, we have the St. John's Lodge Home, estimated to value around 110 million pounds. Built around 200 years ago in 1812, the lodging of the Sultan is among one of two villas from the Regent's Park, conceived by John Nash. There are three connected buildings. Two buildings, known as the primary and second houses, are occupied by guests and service staff, where the Sultan's room is in the third, which is a private building. The home has around 3,500 square feet in the living area. It is surrounded by one of London's most extensive and most beautiful gardens. The garden is open to the public and presents London with a slice of environmental heaven among the beautiful fountains, temple, and stone portico that decorate it. As one of the royal parks of London, its 166 acres are filled with a host of facilities and amenities for the public. He also owned a lavish mansion near Sunset Boulevard in Beverly Hills, California. It was valued at $38 million and was designed in a Spanish colonial style. It had been built in 1927 and served as the temporary residence for the Sultan when he would visit California. The sprawling property was then outfitted by famous interior decorators Tim Morrison and Tom Proctor, who renovated it with an extensive facelift. The Sultan's former palatial estate covers nearly two acres of ground, with a 14,000 square feet two-story building. The living quarters consist of eight bedrooms, a living room, dressing room, dining area, library, modern gourmet kitchen, and 11 bathrooms. The outdoor parts of the estate feature a covered porch, open patio, and landscaped garden, where the cavernous garage can fit about 30 big cars at a time. Now, this home is steeped in luxury, with grandiose interiors that make it clear how royal the estate's past was. The bedrooms feature stone fireplaces, and expensive Malibu tiles line the floors of most of the room. There's also an infinity-edge swimming pool, along with a cabana outside, and each room is fitted with jacuzzis, as well as an indoor spa on site. There's also a Las Vegas home, with an official listing of $37.5 million, very close to the Las Vegas Strip. This is one of the largest homes in Las Vegas and has 17 bedroom suites with attached bathrooms. A parking lot is made to hold around 50 vehicles and a parking garage for 11 cars. On the other hand, the ballroom can accommodate around 1,000 people. The whole property spans 11.2 acres of well-developed estate, including an international-sized swimming pool, swan pond, and extensive gardens with an arcade of palms. The palace is not to be outshone by its counterparts across the world, with fountains, sitting areas, and ample decorative lighting, as well as so much more. That's not where it ends. It is made of eight separate buildings featuring an equestrian center and polo track, sushi bar, and a discotheque. The total living space is around 73,000 square feet and is in a neighborhood of the world's largest hotels, casinos, residential buildings, and resorts. Initially, the home was built for occupation by the Sultan of Brunei for Prince Jeffrey Bolkia's younger brother. It's currently owned by the President of Consumer Credit Services, who purchased it in 2004 for $14 million. You could imagine the Sultan has a vast family with such a large home and so many different properties. In fact, he spent millions on three consecutive weddings. First, his cousin, Raja Isteri Pengiran Anak Hajar Saliha. Since 1965, though she has 
remained despite his marrying, then divorcing his second and third wives. The Sultan has 12 children and has hosted weddings for five of them, all of which have been extravagant in their own right. When his oldest son, Crown Prince Al-Mutadi Bilal, married in 2004, entertainment was $10.1 million alone. Whitney Houston was paid to sing at the reception. Using a blank check, she was asked to fill in with whatever felt fair. Weddings are not the only thing no expenses are spared for. As one of the most financially affluent sultanates in the world, there's very little he wants or needs for, if anything at all. If you had the power and wealth that the Sultan of Brunei has at his disposal, wouldn't you indulge your every whim? Between gold-plated aviation, palaces, and extravagant parties, there's nothing he can't get his hands on. The Sultan remains a luxurious but controversial figure, with expensive, glittering tastes across the board. What do you think of all this wealth and display? Let us know your thoughts down below in the comments section. That's going to be all for today. If you liked this video, let us know by leaving a like on this one, and don't forget to set up post notifications so you never miss a single video just like this. This has been Luxury Zone, and we'll see you next time.